गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल सी इम्पॉर्टेंट फंक्शनल यूनिट ऑफ कंप्यूटर दैट इज मेमोरी मेमोरी यूज टू स्टोर इंस्ट्रक्शंस और प्रोग्राम्स एंड डेटा एंड इन टुडेज टॉपिक वी विल सी मेमोरी की कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड मेमोरी हिरा की so key characteristics of computer memory systems are following first one is location that memory can be located internal or it may be located external like uh, internal memories are like uh, processor registers cache memories and main memories and external externally located memories are like optical disks magnetic disks magnetic tapes etc so we can say that internal memory or inboard memory and rest uh, and external memory are outboard storage and offline storage second is capacity so capacity of a memory unit can be described by number of words and by number of bytes suppose uh if there is a memory capacity given that it is of uh, 4096 into 16 this is a, a configuration of a memory given it means there are 4096 words and each word have size of 16 bits so this is the capacity of uh, of a memory that there are 4096 words and each word have a size of 16 bits and by this we can see uh, uh, how many address lines uh, will be in uh, computer so we when we will raise uh, the power of 2 uh, we will mention it the power of 2 so it will be uh, mentioned as 2 uh, the 2 uh, the power 12 it means 12 bits will require for address lines and 16 bit for data lines next characteristic is access method a uh, unit of transfer so transfer unit can be of words transfer of words and transfer of block of words next is access methods so memory can be accessed by uh, randomly or it uh, may be accessed by sequentially so in a random access method each storage location in memory unit can be accessed independently of other locations but in sequential or serial access method every storage like location depends on other locations in a particular order every storage location will be accessed in sequential access method performance can be measured by uh, two parameters one is access time and another is cycle time so access time is the time elapses between the initiation of an operation and the completion of that operation like the time between the read and the memory function complete signal 
is known as excess time. Cycle time is the minimum time delay required between the initiation of two successive memory operations like the time between the two successive read operations that is cycle time equals to excess time plus some delay next one is physical time so memory systems can be of, uh, made up of semiconductor or magnetic or optical or magnetic and optical physical characteristics memory system can be volatile or non volatile so volatile stands for if contains of a memory system are destroyed when power is turned off then it is known as volatile like ram memory and if content of memory system does not destroy when power is turned off then it is known as a non volatile memory like rom another physical characteristics is erasable and non erasable if the memory system can be erased then we can say that it is erasable if uh, it cannot be erased then it is known as non erasable so uh, applying some ele uh, electric uh, uh, methods we can erase some memories so these are some key characteristics of computer memory system next is the memory hierarchy so memory hierarchy described by the three key character characteristics one is access time another is capacity of the memory and the cost of the memory so we can see that uh, uh, this one is the tape units or magnetic tapes optical disc and having a larger capacity next level is of disk storage lies solid state and magnetic next is main memory that is made of dram that is dynamic ram and cache memory is made of static ram and on the top is registers inside the cpu so as we move from bottom to up so there is increase in cost per bit and if we move from downwards from up to bottom so there is increase in size as well as increase in access time so we can summarize as as we moving down the hierarchy following things are occurring like decreasing cost per bit increasing capacity increasing access time and decreasing frequency of access of the memory by the processor so this is uh, known as memory hierarchy so on the basis of uh, these three key characteristics memory hierarchy can be explained and there is a trade off between these three characteristics of memory and we can say that there is following uh, relationship can hold like for faster access time we have to pay more if there is need of greater capacity so it can be available with little cost and we if we need greater capacity 
then we have to uh, we will get slower access time so uh, this part was the memory hierarchy and the reference is taken from the book uh, william stallings thank you